不远万里，来到美国看 Big Boy。Uh, uh, my father says, uh, uh, "We travel for uh, for ten thousand miles to see the big boy." Uh. When I was just a little kid, I don't know what it was. I've got a picture I show people. My sister sent it to me, and I'm ten months old, holding this Lionel train car. I can barely my little toddler fingers can barely grip it. And I've got this look of amazement in my eyes. When I was a young boy, my father took us to see that locomotive, the 844, operate. And of course, it was terrifying to me. I just, just mortified watching this big thing roll down the track. Well, who knew that at some point later in life that I would be responsible for these locomotives? We're a full-time staff that's paid to do this work. So we're looking for people that are going to be dedicated to the cause, if you will, and the cause is maintaining these locomotives. Think about the toil and the human effort that goes into maintaining a 78-year-old, 600-ton, 17-foot-tall, 135-foot-long machine. There's a lot of work that goes into it. All of the work that we put into this for years. We've we've taken、uh, just a tremendous amount of time and physical effort, brain power, some aspects of redesigning, designing things that we've never really had to test before. You know, when you blow that whistle and you see the reaction that people have, right on! That's really. As I look at, at my staff out here, we all experience that. We all experience it to some degree, but that's what makes it worthwhile. Especially the young children and the elderly folks that that remember what a steam locomotive was. We're kind of like the special forces in a way. If something happens here, there's nobody that's going to come rescue us. There's no second crew. So we've got to really have the mindset that we cannot fail, and everything that we do has to be our absolute. 100%, 100% of the time.